In this video, we are going to start from question number 9 of the 2 7th edition, exercise 14b. Topic is sets in Venn diagram, and the question is regarding Venn diagram. It is given that A is minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. B is 0, 1, 2, 3. Draw a Venn diagram, part number 1 says, draw a Venn diagram to represent the sets A and B. Uh, now you can see B which is 0, 1, 2, 3 that has these elements. Now this is a part of A. A has also 0, 1, 2, 3. So that means B is in A. B is in A. So we have got a circle for A. No, a circle for B will be a part of A inside A these elements are inside A. B has got 0, 1, 2, 3. While A, had, A has got 0, 1, 2, 3 as well as minus 2, minus 1. This is how you are going to represent it in a Venn diagram. Is B a proper subset of A? Yes. B is a proper subset of A and the reason is because because A has at least one element that is not in B this is one reason another one is and all the elements of B all the elements of B 0 1 2 3 are part of A are in A so this is why B is a proper subset of A starting from question number 10 that is from no intermediate level it is given that universal set is basically x is an integer between 0 and 10 mm, okay and c is basically a set where x is not a prime number let's write it over here question number 10 first of all write the universal set that has x as that that represents its elements and they are integers okay between 0 and 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 I'm not going to include 0 and 10 we don't have any word over here of inclusive when there is no word inclusive that means 0 and 10 they are not included now okay what about c c is not a prime number hmm not a prime number so from this universal set because c is not a prime number so one are not a prime number 4, 6, 8 and 9. Now these are not prime numbers taken from universal set. Part 1 is list all the elements of universal set. Well, I have done that. All the elements of C, I have also done that. And what about C complement? Well, you know that that is a, a universal set minus C. Okay. Write down your universal set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, minus, what about C? Write it, 1, 4, 6, 8, 9, okay. Now this minus mean I have to subtract all of them from here, 1, cancelled minus 4 then 
6 then 8 then 9 all these elements are cancelled from here as well minus what is left over here 2 3 5 7 so that is answer for C complement then they have asked in part number 2 describe the set C complement in words so set C is a set of elements the two three five seven they are prime numbers set C is a set of elements that contains that has prime numbers prime numbers you can see a set of prime numbers from or 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 between 2 and 7 inclusive a set of, that c is a set of a set of prime numbers between 2 and 7 inclusive that's how you can define it just make a little correction to have it a proper which set c is a set of okay prime numbers between 2 and 7 inclusive now that's look much better again a bit of mistake a bit of mistake this is set c complement no i am right no i am right then we have question number 11 it is given that uh, that epsilon e or universal set containing first 10 letters of english alphabet write down it a universal set that has first 10 letters of the english alphabet a b c d e f g h i j how many we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay then uh, there is a set d this one d and that is consonants and we need to take this d from universal universal is our source of elements for d consonants b c d e and a vowels then f g h i is a vowel j am i right okay b c d f g h okay what's next part number one list all the elements of this universal set well i have done that done that of d i have also done that and d complement in set notation i am going to write d complement over here that is universal set minus d and as we know what's the idea for universal that says you are gonna exclude these elements of d from universal set mean all these elements of d will be excluded from universal b will be excluded from here c d f g h j what is left a and e and i so this is the answer for the complement and then part number two describe the set d complement in words that is a set of vowels of english okay we can say that set of first three vowels set of first three vowels of English alphabet okay because the rest one are a e i o u so these comes first then these two so a set of first three vowels of English alphabet we have five vowels no? so you can say that you can describe it in this way as well set d complement i am talking about the complement i am describing the complement 
in words a set of first three vowels of english alphabet question number 12 from d2 14b it is given that uh, set e mm -hmm. and uh, x such that x is an integer mm -hmm. such that 0 is less than x and x is less than or equal to 20 okay what about now question number 12 we have got e how to write it in set notation 0 is less than x mean x is greater than 0 over here mm -hmm. x is greater than 0 that, that is 1 and less than or equal to 20 20 is included integer row 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 okay what about f no f is such that x is a positive multiple of 4 okay that is less than 20 hmm multiple of 4 positive multiple positive multiple that is 4 8 12 16 do we include 20 no less than 20 no less than 20 positive multiples of 4 okay Mm -hmm. Part 1 says list all the elements of E and F. I have done that. List all the elements of E and F. That is what they have asked. Okay. E and F, the elements of E and elements of F. Next part 2 is is F a proper subset of E hmm? or E is a proper subset of F. This symbol is of proper subset. No, F is a proper subset of E because we have got all the elements of F for it 12 16. So all the elements of F are part of E according to the definition of proper subset. According to this definition, F should be present in E. All the elements of F should be in E and E must have at least one element that is not part of f and you can see that we have many elements in e that are not part of f so this is the answer part number three is list all the elements of g mm. where is g that is a positive integer mm. okay less than 21 so less than 21 we have got positive integers starting from 1, 2, 3, no 0 is neither negative nor positive. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, less than 21. And part number four suggest no suggest says state the relationship between the sets e and g where is e here is e here we have got g no they are same e and g they are same 1 till 20 1 till 20 you can say that e is equal to g this is the relationship so this is solution up to question number 12 of exercise 14b keep watching thank you so much